Hi, so in this lecture we will create a Kubernetes RabbitMQ cluster. So for that, first of all we'll have to create a Kubernetes cluster on Azure and then we'll deploy the RabbitMQ cluster over there or RabbitMQ service over there. So let's get started. I'm in the Azure portal and in the home if you go and select the Kubernetes service or you can search from here. Just click on the create. Select the recess group. Uh, just select uh, dev test so to optimize the cost. We are not having any sort of a production grade cluster for now, just for learning purpose. And here the Kubernetes cluster name. So give the name of your choice PM Cube 001. And then uh, AKS case pricing tier, just choose the free one. Don't need to go for a standard one and because it's a free just have select no so that you can reduce this warning so create click on the review and create so now click on the create button and this may take a while so just wait for some time Okay, so deployment has been completed. So go to the resource and here our Kubernetes cluster. Now go to the command prompt and just check kubectl get pods. Sorry, because we have not yet connected the Kubernetes service. So how to you can connect? Just click on the connect button and copy here and just paste over here. So I hope you have installed the EZ CLI and the kubectl. Just say yes. So now the credential has been merged with this particular config file cube config file see users in my case this one so now we will install the kubernetes rabbit mq cluster so for rabbit mq cluster installation we need two files one is for rabbit mq cluster operator and another is rabbit mq cluster service so what is rabbit mq operator so rabbit mq operator is a kubernetes operator for managing the RabbitMQ clusters on Kubernetes. It is an open source project that allows for easy deployment, scaling and management of the RabbitMQ clusters in the Kubernetes environment. So how we can get it? You can get it from uh, even from a RabbitMQ website. You just find out or you can also get it from my GitHub. That is, I'll share the link over there in the resource section. So in the RabbitMQ example, there is a readme file for all the steps. So this one. And if you don't find over here, then you can also go to the RabbitMQ Kubernetes cluster operator. And this is the same file, the first one. The same command you can copy and paste in a, your kubectl. So mostly all the systems related to the operating of the Kubernetes RabbitMQ cluster has been installed now. So now we will install the Kubernetes cluster, a simple cluster. So I'll go to the my GitHub account and there is a simple RabbitMQ cluster service. So it's very simple, nothing much fancy that I put. It's actually the load balancer type so that we can get the public IP for uh, our admin user. So we have simple uh, RabbitMQ that the kind is a cluster and then the metadata is a name and then spec the replica is only one. And resources, uh, we have a CPU and memory. The limit again is a CPU and memory and then RabbitMQ additional configuration. These are a basic uh, small configuration. There's a log level that is an info and we have uh, this much important part is 
default user is a guest default password is guest and the user is considered to be an administrator that is true that's so simple so what i will do is copy this file path and i put kubectl apply hyphen f i just paste over here okay so let's try kubectl get services because we have a load balancer so yeah here the ip address will be shown soon try again now we have an ip over there and we'll see whether the cluster has up or not still it is in a running status so once it is ready we can log in using this external ip so let's try again let's wait for some time so after a minute it is now up so now we can check with his ip copy and go to the browser and the browser just the management port is 15672 that's a default port and we can try there so the rabbitmq management is open now just log in using the guest and guest remember this we have provided the password so it's running so let's go to the queue there are no queues we'll create the queues and then we'll check the rest of the things over there so that's it for this video we have already seen uh, the kubernetes rabbitmq cluster deployment on a azure kubernetes service thank you thanks for watching see you in the next video